Hi guys, if you want to know why I'm sitting here in a t-shirt that I have been wearing in my last few videos, it's because it's filming day and I would just um, film a ton of videos in one day, so I hope you like what you see because you could be stuck with it for a few videos. I've changed my hair slightly just to make it, you know, change it up a bit, put a different lipstick on, but apart from that, same day, oh well. Um, I'm standing here with my coffee, yum yum, my mum mug. For you mum um i did actually buy myself this for mother's day because i saw it in poundland and fell in love with it so at the moment i have a latte coffee in there which is the only coffee i drink uh -huh. <coughs> right this is going to be an empties video i did say that this is one of the videos that was coming up on my channel um i have got a shed load of empties plus i've got some makeup that i'm discarding not using didn't want to keep if you know what i mean so I will get into the empties first. There's not a major amount, but you know, there's enough to make a video out of. So the first few things I'm going to show you are air fresheners. Um, just because we use a lot in our house, you know, we've got a smelly dog and yeah, needless to say, we need air freshener. Uh, the first one I've got is Oust by um, Johnson. I absolutely love Oust. Um, I'm not particularly keen on this scent i like the pink one but you can't find the pink one anywhere now totally empty i absolutely love this it just stays in the air for ages and eliminates any odors so that's that one this one is an inset air freshener now i thought inset was um a company that did hairsprays and stuff like that um i picked this one up from savers this is the scent of jasmine um didn't really need that there was obviously one more burst left in there and I smell very pleasant now. Oh, thank God I closed my eyes is all I can say to that. Yeah, it smells of jasmine. It's all right. It's not bad. It does the job. So that's that one. Oh my God, that's strong. And it's really gone up my nose. Next one is another popular... Um, this is also by Johnson. This is another popular make, if you like. Glade. Um, this is Relaxing Zen. Mm, yeah, this was all right. You know, it takes odours away. This... I would say the Glade ones actually mask the smell rather than sort of eliminate it. Whereas Oust will eliminate the odour as well as, you know, putting a nice smell around. I smell absolutely gorgeous now. I smell of jasmine. Doesn't really go well with my perfume. But I think that's the air fresheners out of the way. Um, then I will go for this one, which is the new Avon um, Bubble Bath. I absolutely love Avon Bubble Bath. My favourite is soft pink. Uh, it just is so comforting to me whenever I wear whenever I wear, whenever I bath in soft pink, I just feel, it takes me back to when I was pregnant with my girls, because um, when I was pregnant, I just used to bath and bath and bath and bath, bath and never had a shower, um, it was bath every night for me, because it was just comfort, and I always used the soft pink, um, just before Christmas, they brought out this one, which is the Dark Orchid and Raspberry, and, oh my god, can I just say, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful this is the thousand mil um i've got about three of these um and i've also got some little backups of this as well so yeah that one's gone it took quite a while to get through this one because i tend to hide it um because i like it for myself and if my kids or my husband have a bath they will just take anything that's in the bathroom um and it's quite hard push for me to actually have something for myself so i um hide these in my little backup drawer which is in my bedroom um, and I just pull it out when I need it and then I hide it somewhere in the bathroom where they can't find it. So absolutely love that. Uh, this is shower gel. Uh, this is a Nivea for men one actually. Um, as far as I know he likes it. He's a man. He's not fussy. So that's that one. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's a fresh scent. It's not too what I would call manly aftershavey type thing like Lynx ones are. Um, it's just the original Care face hair and body why don't they make shampoo uh shower gels that men can wash their hair in and wash their face with it's, they don't do that for women i mean they do there's a few out there but it's not good i don't like it um, but i do like that smell then i have an anti-dandruff two-in-one from Superdrug. this is the frequent useful hair types i absolutely love these ones to be honest i you know head and shoulders give or take it i do like head and shoulders but, you know, the, the dupes for the head and shoulders that all companies do, Asda do a really nice one, Tesco's do a really nice one, but Superdrug I do find are the best. I love those. 
And you can tell I love those because I have a different one here as well. This is this one. Are these the same? Yes, they're the same. So we managed to get through these. I like these because they take the excess hair colour out. Obviously, I colour my hair. So do my two um, elder daughters. Um, and when you colour your hair, you can never really wash, you know, the original lot out of your hair when you're, you're washing the actual colour out of your hair. It never all comes out. But if you use this a couple of days later, it takes the excess out uh, without fading your hair. Obviously, mine's not faded. Um, so there's that one. Then we have a shower gel, which is beautiful. Dove. You can't go wrong with Dove. I love Dove. I love Dove. Sounded weird, didn't it? This is the uh, Blue Fig and Orange Blossom scent. And it's gorgeous. It's very fresh. It lingers on the skin for absolutely ages. And it makes the whole bathroom smell nice when you shower in it. Oh, beautiful. We love, absolutely adore Dove in our house. And oh, we've got tons of it. Tons of it. Tons of it. Um, a Johnson's Baby Powder. Everybody needs Johnson's Baby Powder. Oh, it just reminds me of babies. Love it. Just so comforting. Oh. See that? Can you see that? Can you see that? No. Oh, beautiful. Anyway, so I love that. Um, I have actually got a large one here. Um, about that much left in that one, so we'll be repurchasing because I love baby powder. So that's that one. <coughs> and this is a Anelco. I think that's how you pronounce it. I smell, still smell of jasmine air, uh, jasmine air freshener. It's all over my face. It's like from here up. It's all in my hair as well. Oh, well, I smell nice. This is um, the beer shampoo and conditioner. This I have only found in Superdrug. Um, I used to use this years and years and years ago when I was younger. Um, when I had bleached hair, it was just really good for conditioning. Um, but, I mean, it's just gorgeous. It, you don't get much, you get 150 mil, but you don't need a lot. It doesn't really smell of anything. Thank God it doesn't smell of beer because I really wouldn't want my hair smelling of beer. But um, you usually you can find these in Super Drug. I haven't found them in Boots. If not, you could possibly find them in like really old chemists or savers or possibly home bargains, something like that. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the original formula and it's a beer shampoo. I also like the um, oat shampoos and stuff like that. That you can get like specialist oat shampoos but the beer one is brilliant it makes your hair shiny gorgeous and i love it let me just pop all those back in the bag i'll try not to make too much rusty noises oh, i don't really care if it is um because these have all got to go down to recycling at some point i'm not sure you can recycle these i don't know they're just bin jobs actually i don't really know what to do with air freshener cans uh, right, let's go on to the makeup side. Have I got just makeup side? Yeah. Oh no, there's an Elnet hairspray. This is quite a small one. I have got two large ones over there which are on special offer for two for nine pounds in Superdrug. I think they are still again now. This is just the extra strength. I love Elnet, uh, Elnet hairspray. You can spray it in, it holds. You know, it's a soft hold, but it's it holds and then you can just brush it out. Other hairsprays that get stuck and get sticky in my hair and I have to pull to get them out or wash them out. Ugh, no, can't stand it. But Elnet <coughs> is expensive. Um, but I absolutely love Elnet and everybody else, all the girls love Elnet in my in my house. I have a deodorant spray, which is one of these compact ones. Sure is my favourite. Sure Cool Pink. Um, mainly this is what I use as a deodorant. I just love the smell. It takes me back to, God, childhood when I was like 14, 13, 14. Um, this is what I used to use because um, my friend introduced me to this and, yeah, I haven't, haven't used anything. Well, I do use other things, you know, but it's mainly sure that I use because I love them. I have actually got two backups of this and they've made these a little bit bigger now. Um, I just don't like the compact, like condensed version of these i just prefer the big ones and you can't find them anywhere anymore these you know the smell is gorgeous but they do not last as long at all as the normal size so yeah go back to the normal packaging guys because that's rubbish uh what have i got in here 
Ooh, yes, makeup wise. Now we're going on to makeup. So I've got one, two, three, four. Four of the Primark wipes. There you go, you can see what they are. Primark wipes. I absolutely love these, they are gorgeous. Um, they're the exfoliating ones, you can tell by the little dots on here. They are the only thing that my skin will take now. I like for makeup wipe wise. If I use any others, like if I've run out of these and I borrow my daughter's L'Oreal ones or Garnier ones or even simple, like breaks me out and I can't handle it. So when I go to Primark, I make sure that I stock up on these. I've still got about five. I've got one on the go and about five backups in there. They're a pound each and I love them. So yeah, four in there. They're going in the bin. Glad to get them off my vanity actually because they've been doing my head in. Every time I move something, they fly off. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Magic Blur. This is empty. I have got another one on the go and another backup of this when it comes special offer because I just love it. It's the primer that helps me, helps this. Um, it's the only thing that works. I love the smell, the floral smell. It's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, this is, I could probably scrape a little bit out of there, but it's totally gone. I decant this into a little um, body shop sample pot because it's easier to keep on my vanity. Um, and I just dip my finger in it and every time it runs out and gets low, I just dig it out of the pot, put it in the little one. But yes, absolutely love this. Um, and I will continue to repurchase it, it's amazing. Uh, like I say, if you don't really like, it's not strong smelling, but it's it's type of florally smell and um, you know, some people don't like it. Uh, I know that the lovely Lisa, Spacey's number one girl, loves this as well, but she only uses it mainly for under her eyes because she doesn't like the smell, but the actual product itself, she loves. So that is that. Now we're gonna get on to makeup that either I don't want because it just doesn't work for me or it's dried up, you know, stuff like that. So the first couple of things I'm gonna show you are mascaras because they are dried up. Um, I do absolutely love both of these. One, I don't think you can get any more, um, but the other one I think you can. So the first one, I think you can still probably get these in Poundland. I do actually see these in Poundland and Pound, Pound World. And when I see them, I do buy them. These are the collection, when it was collection 2000. And this is the Sky Lash. Yeah, Sky Lash. Um, they do this in, this is normal, ultra black, but they do also do this in a waterproof. It's got a really, really thin brush on it um it's quite flexible as well i just love this mascara um i used to use this all the time then they discontinued it when it became collection not collection 2000 i think they have brought out something similar and i think you can still get some sort of sky lash but the new formula i haven't got on with um so yeah if i do find these in poundland or pound world i do snap them up because they are wonderful and I love them. The other mascara that I absolutely love is the Wow Mascara from Too True. Looks like this. I think this is the waterproof one. Yeah, this is the waterproof one. The uh, normal one is in a pink barrel, which I also do have. Again, I think this is a quite a thin brush. Yeah, it's quite a thin brush. Um, and it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love this mascara. But this one has just, just literally dried up. There's nothing in there at all. No, there's not a lot in there at all. It's a goner, um, but it's not too expensive. I think it's only three or four ninety nine from Too True. So yeah, good mascara to have. Absolutely love that. Um, and the rest is basically stuff that I just don't want anymore. Oh, or do I mean there's one item in here that I'm not sure about, so I'll come to that at the end. But apart from that, I will show you the ones that I'm getting rid of. Mm. Right. So the first. Three, I think, are from Maybelline. These were pound shop per per blah, 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 purchases as well. I do sort of want to keep these, but only because of the silver in them, um, which luckily is all the same. But I don't know if I want to actually keep the whole thing just for the silver. I have got other silvers. And these are the Maybelline New York <sighs> Eye Studio Duos. This one is in Azure Silver. Um, and as you can see, the, the silver in it is beautiful. Let me just swatch it. It is literally just like a silver overlay, overlay li glitter. I can't word it properly. Let me. You can't really see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. 
but that is the overlay silver sorry about this guys this is from another video um and the blue you know it's not all that really um it's very not pigmented at all but i love the glittery bit in it so i really don't know that glitter tends to run all the way through because i have used this quite a bit but i mean just to you know if i, I don't know if i can put a little bit on here and you could see if you just pat it on it just glitterizes anything that you've got on um but i don't know if i can sort of i don't know warrant keeping all three of these just for the silver thing i don't know this one is in bronze gold um and again you've got the silvery sort of i don't know is that silver this might be a creamy color i don't know no i think this is oh no this is slightly goldy color um again there's the gold <coughs> it's just a really nice overlay <clears throat> but the bronze you know again it's all right but i've got other colors like that and these silly little duos are just they get him away um again i might keep it for the gold i don't know and this one is in taupe opal um, again i think that might be a different color glitter could be a sort of like opaly color mm, it is it's more of a clear though i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that there's the opal there again just a glitter overlay really uh but the taupe in it is like a really dark sort of Again, not overly pigmented. So I really don't know about them, guys. I, I haven't made my mind up yet, but, you know, possibly I will... Oh, I'm trying to get the swatches off my hand. Um, I might keep them just for the glittery bits, but I've got other glittery bits, you know, so I don't know. This is a half price gosh um, palette that I bought. I think it was like £1 something in Superdrug. Oh, years ago this is the quattro eyeshadow palette um and i can't tell you what color it's in because they've got the stupid bloody stickers on the back uh but this is what the palette looks like the only color i like in this really is this one um let me do some swatches so there's that one not highly pigmented really there's the silvery colored one very powdery uh there's a sort of don't even know what color that is antique gold i suppose um but this is the color i like so it's the peachy gold one that i like um so i'll do some swatches just to see what you think again you can see that they are quite powdery but this is the color that i like so again if i could decant that into a little like magnetic pot i would but i don't know how i'm going to get that out of there to be honest so i'm not sure again whether i want to keep this or not i have got other colors like this mua have got a perfect dupe for this which i've got in most of the mua palettes um so yeah not sure about that one either this is a claire's one um again it was in the sale um it, it basically says it can take you from daytime to evening um it's got four sort of neutrally colors in it but they're you know powdery and it's really difficult to get into because of the little that's the colors i don't think you can see those there um they're, it's all right but it's getting the brush in they're so small i mean look at my fingers compared to the size of my finger sort of like covers too so that's how thick uh thin they are and they're just a nightmare to get into so i don't think i'll keep that one i possibly might give that one to my daughter to play around with um who knows uh the next one is an astor color magic brown eye palette quartet thing um let me see if i can get this open and i can show you it um looks like that it's all right it's not bad again the colors are not bad um but is it worth keeping it just I mean, I've got these colours. I've got these colours everywhere in all my palettes. Again, not that brilliantly pigmented, to be honest. Um, and very small and awkward to get your brush into. 
This was from the factory shop and it cost me two pounds. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I'll be keeping that one. Definitely not. Again, might give that one to my daughter. Uh, this is a Rimmel London Duo and this is in metallic pearls. And it's, oh, stupid little things. Get on my nerves. Uh, they're just two greys, basically. I don't even think one's silver. Let's have a look. Mm, it's a matte silver, I think. Um, and a darker grey. They're all right, you know, they're not bad. Quite pigmented, but... Can you see those? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, here. They're not pigmented enough for me. I don't... I don't know. I, don't, I like the top one. It's quite nice. Um, but... Not worth me keeping it. I never use it. So that one. Uh, this is a chit chat eyeshadow from Poundland. I liked it to start with, but I don't know. Mm, they, they are quite pigmented, but there's that one, and that one's a sort of combination blue. I don't, I don't know. Now I've swatched it, I quite like it. Um. Oh, I don't know now. I do actually quite like that. <laughs> I might just keep that one. Yeah, I might keep that one. Uh, I think this is an eyeshadow. <sighs> Pinkerbell, this one's called. And this is a 17 eyeshadow in pink. It's alright. I'd probably use it more as a blush. but In fact, I could use that as a blush highlighting blush see that there do you know what I'm going to use that as a blush that's two out of all of them so far that I'm not I'm going to keep uh, this is a body shop one just in green I do like my greens but I've got tons of these it's very creamy very sort of spring green so hmm Again, it's a single eyeshadow, and single eyeshadows get on my nerves, so I don't know. Um, and the last thing, I'm, well, the second to last thing that I'm definitely getting rid of, because I, I just never wear this, and this is the Milani. I've, in fact, I don't even think I've swatched this. Have I swatched it? Yeah, I think I have. Um, it's got a really dark blue, a nice baby blue, which is hardly there at all. Um... That blue's quite nice, I suppose. And the white. I like that one. That's the only one I like out of all of them. But again, is it really worth me um, keeping it just for that one shadow? I don't know. I might be able to depot that shadow, I suppose. But, nah. Get rid of it, Nick. It's not worth it. And the last one is uh, Accessorised Baked Trio Eyeshadows in Heavenly. This is alright, but I don't like these shadows that merge together because they're just a nightmare. The highlight is beautiful and the middle colour is beautiful. I don't like the end colour, this one here. I'll swatch them anyway. Um, so there's the highlight colour. There's the middle sort of taupey colour. And there's the dark brown colour. They're lovely, but they're all really, really shimmery. Um, just... They're beautiful, but I don't know. <sighs> yeah, okay, I'm keeping those four and I'm getting rid of all of these. So the, you know, the Maybelline ones, the Claire's ones, the Rimmel ones, they're all going in the bin. Uh, those two I might just give to my um, middle daughter because she might be able to play around with those. Um, and the only ones I'm keeping are the Accessorize, the Chit Chat, the number 17 eyeshadow which I'm going to use as a blusher and the Body Shop one in, if only I could find out what the name was, just as number 38. So I'm going to keep those four, but the rest I'm going to get rid of. This was a really long empties video. I'm really, really sorry, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all in my next video. 
Um, and yeah, have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, and if you're watching this later on in the year, have a lovely Easter. Have a lovely summer. Or have a lovely Christmas. <laughs> um, I will see you all in my next video, guys. I love you all and thanks. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a massive thumbs up because it's good for me and it makes me happy and smiley. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all soon in the next one. Thanks a lot, guys. Love you. Bye.